Welcome to another video of Origins. This video is part of our Nicholas series, and will cover the origins of sugar. Make sure to stay all the way to the end for some bonus content. As always, be sure to like, subscribe, and be notified. We are posting new videos all the time. And now, let's go ahead with the video. The origins of sugar, and where did originate? The Papuans, indigenous people of New Guinea, are assumed to have domesticated sugar cane, or Saccharum officinarum, for the first time in approximately 8000 BCE. It was believed that this ancient civilization just chewed the cane uncooked. Around 3000 BCE, the Austronesian peoples began spreading and cultivating sugar over islands Southeast Asia, eventually making their way to China and India. Although documents from the ancient Greeks and Romans seem to indicate that sugarcane was employed in medicine, it is believed that sugar remained an Asian secret for a long time, despite their acknowledgement of its pleasant taste. There is a plant in India that brings forth honey without the help of bees, from which an intoxicating drink is prepared. Wrote Nearchus, a general in the Greek army, in 327 BCE. Only a tiny quantity of sugarcane was traded to doctors after Alexander's conquest of India. The first sugarcane crystallization was documented by the Romans, according to Pliny the Elder, Roman author, naturalist, philosopher, and naval commander, who also states that Indian sugar is superior to that produced in Arabia. It is a type of cane honey that crunches between the teeth and is as white as gum. It comes in hazelnut-sized chunks, and is only employed in medical settings. Who discovered sugar and when? Around the year 350 AD, Indians learned how to turn sugar into crystals. They decided to share their secret with Buddhist monks, who were traveling, and brought their methods for making crystals back home to China, and taught Emperor Taizong of Tang how to grow sugarcane. Crystallized sugar was a common ingredient in Indian, Chinese, and Middle Eastern cuisine by 650 AD. The Discovery of Sugar one of the most significant lectures the world has ever seen was held in the Middle East. Around 600 AD, Greek, Christian, Jewish, and Persian scholars congregated at the Iranian University of Jindi Shapur and wrote about a potent Indian medicine and how to crystallize it. Around 850 AD, Arab businessmen embraced these methods and increased the cultivation of sugar cane throughout southern Europe and North Africa. This involved creating sizable estates with mills, refineries, and artificial irrigation systems to mimic the tropical climate that the sugar cane plant is native to. The rest of Europe imported sugar from the Arab world for culinary and medical uses, as well as for use in marzipan, an indulgent confection made with sugar and almonds. Only the wealthiest people in Europe were the first to consume sugar in the form of confections, according to William of Tyre, who called it a highly precious, extremely vital for the use and health of mankind. Tyre wrote during the Crusades in the 12th century, when travelers returning from the Holy Land carrying sugar came with caravans carrying sweet salt. England first encountered sugar in the 13th century. In 1390, a new cane press was created, doubling the amount of juice that each cane could generate. Due in large part to the island of Madeira, the sugar trade experienced enormous economic development. Madeira offered sugar at a lower price than the existing European monopolies and was highly accessible via water. Madeira provided the cane, which was then transported to Antwerp, Belgium, for processing and distribution. Madeira had risen to prominence as Europe's top sugarcane grower by the late 15th century. When Christopher Columbus went to Hispaniola, which is modern-day Haiti and the Dominican Republic, sugarcane was introduced to the New World. By 1516, the island had built mills and refineries and was the leading producer of sugar in the New World. Meanwhile, by chance, Portuguese navigator Pedro Cabral founded many sugar plantations in Brazil in 1501. Portuguese workers, who were employed there to manage the sugar production, came up with novel mill designs and refinery techniques. Brazil quickly reached a point where they were producing far more sugar than they could consume. The transatlantic slave trade, which comprised the transportation of 12,570,000 persons from Africa to the Americas between 1501 and 1867, provided the labor required to make sugarcane. Coffee, cocoa, and tea began to be brought to Europe, aggravating the issue by raising the need for sugar and, by extension, the necessity for labor, which fueled the abhorrent slave trade. When the practice became less profitable due to the overproduction of sugar, Britain and the USA abolished slavery. 
In 1888, Brazil became the final country to outlaw the use of slaves on plantations. Sugar naturally spread across South America, and soon, due to its flat terrain and tropical climate, Cuba became the biggest producer of sugarcane in the world. The Cubans embraced contemporary milling techniques, utilizing vacuum pans, steam engines, and water mills. Cuba was able to produce more rapidly due to the result of the enhanced productivity. In 1908, Paris saw the debut of the first sugar cube that was individually packaged. Following the widespread adoption of proper hygiene practices at the start of the 20th century, this quickly became the standard. Granulated sugar is the principal product of refineries today. And now here is the bonus. Before sugar. People have liked sweet flavors for thousands of years throughout Europe and the rest of the world. Prior to the discovery of sugar, our ancestors consumed honey, dates, and other sweet foods in addition to using them as sweeteners. This is what ancient Mediterranean inscriptions and reliefs tell us. The first known sweetener is honey. 12,000 years old cave paintings in Spain's Arana caves depict ladies gathering honey. Similar to how we do it today, the women used honey for treating wounds, producing mead, and baking. Our ancestors' original source of honey was wild honey, which they obtained from wild bees' nests. Later, bees were kept in hives, as they are today. Although sugar first arrived in Europe around the 1100, it wasn't until the 16th century that it was employed extensively. Prior to that, it was only used by the wealthy to both sweeten food and as medication. This was all for today, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the video. Is there a place or anything that you would like to know about the origins? Please tell us in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and get notified if you enjoy the video, it would mean a lot to me. Thank you for watching, see you next time.